Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. In this video, you learn how to make logos in Canva. First of all, open up canva.com on your browser. This is the home page that you're going to see after you open canva.com. In the search bar, type logo so that it can start displaying the templates. Click on logo here. It's going to display the templates. There are 51,438 templates appearing on my screen right now. You can go through these templates and select the appropriate one as per your need, as per the project that you're working on. In my case, I'm going to go with the cartoonish look. So I'll click this one. It gives me the option to create two different pages, one with the light background and one with a dark background. And I'm going to edit this to personalize it. So instead of this, I'm going to maybe change this to an elephant. So I'm going to go into elements click elements and just type elephant I would search for elephants so that it gives me all the pictures and elements with the picture of an elephant so I'm going to click on this picture that I see the first one just as an example I'll delete this one and I'll place this picture in the middle and as you guys can see as, as I'm moving this picture this image it is giving me references so right now this picture is in the middle of the frame so I'll leave it here and I'll move the text slightly up and I'm not going to change the font of the text but you guys can change the font as well first of all let me enlarge the picture slightly so that it looks good with my text and then again I'll place it in the middle so kind of looks okay I can maybe make some changes to this. I can add shadows to this as well. I'll select the picture and click edit image and then click shadows and then I'll add a drop shadow to this. So you guys can see as soon as I click drop shadow it adds a shadow but if I want to make more changes to this or refine it more I'll click to edit the shadows. I'll play with the offset. Maybe I'll offset this a little and change the angle slightly. Okay, I think it's, it's looking better here. And then change the transparency. So you can choose to decrease or increase the transparency and also the blur effect. So I, if I reduce blur, it's going to decrease the blur in the shadow. And I think it's looking better now. It's looking more like 3D. So I'll leave it here. I can also choose to change the color of the shadow if I want to. But for now, I think it's looking good. So I'll leave it here. And also I can make changes to the text. So I'll click the text. And if I want to change the font, those options are here. If I want to increase, enlarge the size or decrease the size, these are the options available. I can change the color from here. I can choose to go with bold. And also I can underline this. So I have those options available. I might go ahead and add effects to this and add a lift effect and see if now this is not looking good, especially with the black one. It's not looking good. So I'll leave it at none. And I think I'll just go ahead and change the name. Uh, so maybe elephant technologies. By the way, this is just to show you guys how it works. So please don't judge me for my selections. Um, okay, I'll move the text in the middle. I might enlarge the size of it slightly. And also, I'll do the same thing with technologies. So I'll just first place it in the middle and then enlarge it slightly. So that it looks good. Okay, maybe a little more. So that if it, okay let's see how it looks so I think it's looking pretty good already now I'll go ahead and copy all of this so just select all of it and control C and I'll go ahead and delete this picture select all of it delete either the delete button or you have the delete option here just delete this one and paste the one that we just copied control V and it's going to start appearing on your screen now because this is a dark background I'm going to change the color from black to white and I'll do the same thing with technology I'll change the color from black to white and now with the white one I think I can go ahead and add effects add a lift effect with this and let's do the same thing with technology as well add a lift effect increase the intensity okay so this is the with the dark background and this is with the light background it's already looking pretty good 
I can go ahead and choose to download this image. Now this is important because this is a logo. So if you want to download this image, click on the share button on the top right corner, click on download. And I would go ahead with the transparent background so I can place the logo anywhere. I'll click on the transparent background option and then I'll download it as a PNG file. Go ahead and download this. And I'll download another version of the same file maybe with the larger size so that the quality is good again i'll go with the transparent background and click on download as png it's going to start downloading as you guys can see it's already downloading once it is done downloading in my system okay so it is in the system already it has downloaded this as a compressed file as a winrar file i can go ahead and unzip this extract these files i'll choose a folder maybe desktop and i'll create a new folder and name it logos select this folder and extract the files there now the files are extracted already let me just go ahead and quickly open these up this is the one with the dark background you might not be able to see the the text because again i've selected the dark theme but when i move ahead with a white background you guys should be able to see okay so this is the white background you guys can see the quality is looking pretty good this is a logo that we've just created using canva if you have any questions let me know in the comments section and if you want to see more videos related to canva i can go ahead and create more videos for you guys thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one